In this video, we're going to talk about how to automate the pausing, resuming, or resizing of your fabric F-SKU capacity. Um, so I'm showing here the, the metrics app. This is for my trial capacity. I, I also have an F2 capacity. Um, but you may be looking at your metrics app and maybe seeing usage patterns uh, in, your, in your capacity. Uh, and so you, maybe you see Boy, there's there's obvious times where um, I'm peaking out here. It's you know only during working hours, uh, for example, or maybe just Monday mornings. There's a really big peak, but the rest of the time, uh, it's running fine. Um, or there are times that I can't predict that it goes really high and then comes back down. And so the nice thing about the new fabric F SKUs is that you can uh, pause and resume. Uh, you can pause them when there's not a lot of activity, and then resume it when there is. You can dynamically change the size uh, for to match when your peak usage is and potentially save costs. Uh, so if we go over to the pricing page here for the F SKUs uh, that you can purchase in Azure, you can look at the, the cost by hour or by month. And certainly a good option could be these reserved instances where you commit to a longer period of time and you can get, in the case of central US, a 41% savings. Um, or if you really don't have a lot of uptime, you can potentially save money by just doing the pay as you go approach uh, where you only uh, pay for while it's running and then you pause it the rest of the time. And you, you pay more, obviously. Um, but there's also scenarios where you can get a little bit of the best of both worlds where you could say, um, in case I just, I just need an F2 most of the time, but sometimes I want to uh, make it a little bigger. And so you can actually pay the RI price, the reserve price for most of the time, and then just pay the pay as you go pay price when you, when you surge above that. So um, as a demo, I've got this uh, little F2 capacity um, and I can come here certainly and just do, you know, resume it and then pause it uh, on demand whenever I need. Right. But certainly we'd like to automate things. And I'm a former citizen developer, so I like to do things with Power Automate. But you can also do this with Azure Logic Apps. Um, there's Azure Resource REST APIs. I suspect you could do it with that, having confirmed. Um, but one of my colleagues showed me in Power Automate how they were uh, had a flow that would go and just make sure their capacity was paused when they weren't doing demos or, or using it. Uh, and so I took that and just took a little further and came up with what I'll show you today. So in this first video, I'm going to just go through the basics of sort of the components you'll need to be able to create your own custom solution. And then I have a second video where I'm going to walk through some specific scenarios. And then I've also uh, created a folder in GitHub where you could come and get those um, import uh, import these uh, packages and maybe give you a head start in creating your own solution. So the first three things I want to show is uh, one, just this one here where you can just check the status of your capacity, right? So right now I've got this F2 capacity. It's sitting there paused. And so if I just uh, come here and look at this flow, um, in these, the more advanced flows I'll show, you're going to need to check the status. And so there's all these, um, resource actions with Azure. And so just to show you how to find those, if you just go to Azure resource and you click, click here, these arm actions, the three we're going to need are, uh, there's a reader resource, this one. There's a create or update a resource, and then there's an invoke invoke resource operation. So those are the three. And you may notice that these are all premium connections. So I have a E5 developer account here, uh, and it does allow me to use these premium connectors. Um, so make sure your plan has those uh, premium actions available to you. The potential cost savings here could be very high depending on your, your scenario and the size of your FSKU. So it may well worth be getting the extra license to be able to use these or use one of the other approaches I mentioned. Okay. All right. So basically 
to use one of these, I'm just manually triggering this just to read the resource. I have a compose step here, not really required. You could do this down here, but basically, you know, this reader resource, you'll need to populate, you know, these fields here. Uh, I found uh, a video online or, or this flow from my colleague. I saw they just put this client API version. Uh, and so this was my subscription name, my resource group, and the resource provider you search for Microsoft Fabric. And then up here, um, you just need to put uh, basically capacity slash and then the name of the capacity. In my case, it's PPM Fabric Demo. Right. And I have these in all the flows that I'll show you because you have to use this. You have to put the name in with that format uh, on all of three of these actions. So now if we want to just go ahead and test this. Run the flow. We can go out and see the information that comes back. Okay. And so it'll, you know, it tells us, um, the, if we expand this down, we've got the SKU name, which is where you'll resize. So the SKU name is here, shows that it's an F2. And then down here in the properties, you can get this state here. And so it shows us that it's paused. And so we'll need this, uh, and, and this, uh, in some of the other flows I'll show you. All right. So the second one, if we go back to the flows, is if we just want to do a simple uh, pause or resume. And so if we go and edit this one, and with these kinds of things, it's good to sort of have like a backup flow that comes around and make sure that it's paused in case there's an issue with your main flow, for example. And so this is one I use just to go uh, and uh, run it every night and just make sure that um, this this uh, capacity is paused so I don't waste my Azure credits. And so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and read the resource. And then uh, I have a condition here that I go and read that state property of from the properties of the reader resource. And if it's not paused, then I want to go ahead and use this invoke resource operation. Okay. And so in this case, it's very similar to the other one. You populate the required fields. I use that same variable again that gives capacity slash my capacity name. And in this case, I want the action name to be suspend, which is how it pauses it. Um, and then if you want to um, resume it, you could just pass a resume command here as well. And then in the state, uh, a little confusing, the states are paused and active. So when you resume it, it'll be active. When you suspend it, the state will be paused. Okay. And then I just send myself an email to say, Hey, the flow was running or not. And don't worry, I, you know, it's shut down now. All right. And in this third one, I want to show just how you can do a resize. Um, so I'll open this flow and I'll just go back over to my capacity just to show uh, currently I'm at an F2. Uh, and again, manually, you certainly could come over here and click on change size and change it to whatever size you need on demand, uh, but that's no fun. So if we go into this flow, it's very similar to the others, but we're going to use that third action that I mentioned. Um, so again, same compose step, same read a resource, and this is going to tell us the SKU size as well as the current state. Uh, for you to be able to change the size, it needs to be active. So I first confirm with a condition that the capacity is running. And then I use this create or update a resource and you expand these advanced options here. And if you scroll down, you'll see the SKU name. So in this case, I have an F2, but I need to make it an F4. Uh, if, and if I just go up here and test this, And we'll give it a sec. It's usually pretty, pretty fast. Flow ran successfully. So then if I go back over to Azure, I, and then you have to usually come up here and refresh the whole page. 
we can see that uh, it's now an F4, right? So that's, that's how you use um, Power Automate to pause and resume uh, or to change the size of your fabric capacity. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to walk through um, three scenarios that may be useful to you where you can, you know, pause or resume on a schedule uh, on this one here, just like say during first shift, or I just want to scale up for my real peak period, maybe Monday mornings, um, or uh, in the most advanced one, I can actually go and query the metrics app and see how my capacity is doing and then size it up or size it down uh, as appropriate.